Hello, I'm Natalia and welcome to another Fabulous Friday. This week I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous multi-cord necklace. To make this necklace what you'll need is 20 strands of this faux suede cord and it comes in all different colours but here for this one I'm using a lighter violet colour and then a deeper purple and you will need a cord ending which is um, 10 millimetres, um, the, the width of the cord ending and then also um, some of these rings and, um, and they come in lots of different colours so I'm using this kind of grey um, coloured ring so they're, they're decorative rings for jewellery making and you'll also need some uh, E6000 glue so let's begin so we're going to place the, all of the 20 cords in this cord ending and you might not believe that they would actually go in there but they do, they do fit in there because we can squash them all down and they need to be exactly the same length and the easiest way to do that is you can either gather them all up together and try and align them all or you can just take a pair of scissors and just trim them so that every single one of them is exactly the same length. Then what you need to do is to take your E6000 glue and I just go straight in with the end of the tube into my cord end and just deposit a blob of glue inside there and then take um, a piece of wire or you could use a head pin to do this and I just distribute the glue around the inside and around the edges of my cord ending and you don't want too much glue because what happens is you put too much in it just all squirts out the end when you push your your cord strands through so when you're happy that you've got enough glue in there just bunch all of the ends together and pack as many of them as you can into your cord ending can you see where I've got some little glue that's just come out of the edge of there? If I allow that to dry, it can actually peel it off when it's dry. It's easier than trying to do it when it's wet. So these extra pieces of cord, I'm going to just press the, the cords down and push them inside. And you can also use just the end of your round nose pliers to help you push those cords up inside your cord ending. It's just such an easier way of doing it. And you can see how easily all of those 20 cords went into your cord ending. And I've just got one stray one there, I'm going to push that in. So the next stage is to add all of your rings. So these come in a pack of 50 and, um, and I'm just going to thread them all on and it's easier to actually thread them on rather than putting them on the loose cords to do it when you've got the cord endings on because it acts almost like a needle but and you can thread the rings on so I'm going to put those rings on and then we'll see how to finish the necklace off when all of the rings are threaded onto your faux suede then you just need to trim the suede to the length the exact length that you want your necklace to be and so this is there that's exactly where I want mine to be so I'm just going to trim those again take the excess away now don't throw these pieces of suede away because you're going to have quite a lot of, um, of the cord left over but you could use those for tassels you could use those for other necklaces and then we're going to do the same thing again so deposit some glue into the base of your cord ending just swell it around and make sure that it's got plenty of glue around the base and around the sides and then pop your cords into the cord end again so squish them together as much as tightly compacted as you can and then just push those endings in like we did previously so when you've got all of the cords into the cord ending just clear away any excess glue when it's dried and then you you can just undo the clasp on your necklace and twist it slightly just to make sure that the colours are distributed of the cord um, and then it's ready to wear and these look brilliant when combined with different coloured cords so we've got 
this one in lovely turquoise blue, different shades of that. I'm using the slightly shinier, brilliant kind of silver coloured rings on this, on this one. Um, and then olive green and a masala coloured cords and the more of a gunmetal grey kind of rings on this one. And have them at whatever length you prefer. You can use them as a longer style necklace or a shorter um, style necklace. It's up to you. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And um, so if you would like to make your own version of this necklace, you can find a link to the different components that I've used in the description below this video. And also don't forget to visit our website at beadhouse.co.uk. Thank you.